Hello and welcome to Conspirator Barack's video podcast. Uh, since we're not recording uh, this week, the week of July seventh, um, I'm going. I'm doing a video podcast to answer some questions uh, that I posted. I posted a question on Twitter uh, earlier asking for some submissions. Um, so I uh, got a few of them. So let's go. Uh, first up is um, Jeffrey. Jeffrey asks, "Is there a song that I can he- I can't hear without thinking about a certain character? Uh, for him, it's Brainwasher for Ultron. Um, I don't actually equate too many of like my comic book reading to songs or to music. Um, I tried to uh, listen to um, Yannick Patrick's uh, music that he created." For uh, Swamp Thing, when he was drawing Swamp Thing, uh, apparently that's something he does is create music to draw to. Uh, it, it felt very, very fit the book very, very well, um, but I don't actually have any music that kind of stands out as uh, something that connects me to a character. So uh, I don't know if any of my other conspirators have that uh, same issue, but uh, you'll just have to ask them. Unfortunately, you'll have to ask them on Twitter. Hopefully they respond. Uh, next up, I have two questions from uh, Timothy. Uh, Timothy asks his first question that I'm going to ask uh, Is there an artist that I buy no matter the writing quality? Um, for him, it's Cliff Chang. Uh, he'll buy the cover uh, if he does the cover, and uh, he'll never once look inside the book. Um, I used to. Um, I used to try and snatch up a lot of uh, J. Scott Campbell, uh, Jim Lee covers. Um, but uh, for the most part, I kind of, I don't really do that anymore. Uh, not just because it's kind of difficult to um, get some of those covers, especially since they're a lot of the, a lot of them are done on a high variant ratio, so that can be kind of pricey. Uh, if there's a cover that's you know cover price and I see it and I like it by an artist I like, um, I'll sometimes pick those up. Um, you know, uh, cool covers are just cool covers. So, um, but yeah, I, I, I don't really have that anymore. Um, so, thanks. Uh, but uh, the next question uh, Timothy asks is, uh, what are my thoughts on Jeff Lemire leaving Green Arrow? Um, well, first that first off, boo. Uh, his Green Arrow has been fucking amazing, and uh, I don't want him to leave, just like I didn't want him to leave animal man but uh i guess he has his stories to tell and then he's done so um i'm saddened by that um but uh the next question that timothy asked in in this one was uh what dc book should lemire jump to next um you know what I, i i think it's it's staying within the the confines of kind of Animal Man's an offbeat character. Green Arrow is sort of a, a lower tier character. I think Jeff Lemire uh, is bringing a good light to um, you know lower tiered DC characters. So you know I would like to see him jump to something uh, of that caliber, uh, whether it's a existing series or um, a new Fifty Two version of something. Uh, personally, I'd like him to come and write. You know. The Outsiders or Batman and the Outsiders, that would be amazing. Uh, but I don't know if they're going to actually do that in the New 52, so we'll have to see. Um, and then he asked also um, for uh, Sorrent- Sor- Sor- Sorrentino, the artist on that book. Uh, his style is amazing. Um, I think it fits Jeff Lemire very, very well for an artist and writer combination. Uh, Again, I think, you know, he needs to go to a book that kind of has, you know, you know, some, some action weighted in, in reality, uh, you know, Green Arrow has his cross, or his bow and arrow and, and stuff like that, uh, you know, so, what would I like to see Sorrentino do? I mean, I, honestly, he could do a bat title and I'd be happy with it, um, he could possibly do, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of. Couple others. Um, I mean, I think he would do great on a Nightwing book, but we're not getting a Nightwing book. We're getting a Grayson book. Um, it, it might be great if they just got rid of whatever campy artist they were going to have doing Grayson and have um, Sorrentino do it. I think that'd be amazing. 
So, but we'll see. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so that was it for the questions that I got. Thank you guys for your questions. Um, I know that some news broke today um, about uh, what was his name? Oh God, why am I why am I blanking on his name? Let me look it up real quick. Uh, there it is. Brandon Roth um, is apparently cast as the Adam for season three of Arrow. Um, funny enough, I think this is an amazing casting. Uh, I think Brandon Roth uh, will do very, very well as Ray Palmer. Um, so... I mean, I'm I'm excited for it. I think it's a, a funny jump to go from Superman to you know the Atom, but uh, no, I think it's a I think it's a really good move. Um, I'm actually excited, really excited now to see what happens in season three with uh, the introduction of Ray Palmer, uh, especially since DC's been uh, doing a really good job with um, kind of slow. I mean, they they've done the exceedingly slow burn with the movies, but I think with TV they're they're really amping up. Um, the exposure of other characters and trying to bring to light different uh, aspects of the DC universe in um, the TV shows. So um, I'm excited for it, um, just like I'm excited for Arrow uh, season three. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if if uh, Roth's character um, or Ray will uh, cross over at all with uh, the Flash TV show uh, that's uh, coming this fall. But, um, yeah, other than that, I, good enough for me. I mean, so, yeah. Uh, so thank you for watching my little video um, podcast for uh, this week. Um, you can see more of these on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're in, I don't know the direct link, whatever. But if you search Conspirator Brock on YouTube, you'll find me. Uh, you can also uh, listen to me on the Comics Conspiracy. Uh, which you can find at the geekbox.net or you can go to www.conspiratorbrock.com and uh, post links there to uh, get the podcast. We did post an actual podcast this week. We're not actually skipping a week. Uh, we started recording longer episodes um, sometimes, so we split those up into two segments because, uh, yeah, it costs a lot more money to host that than we like. So uh, it gives us a break from recording um, you still get it, um, but uh, I'd like to. Tr I wanted to give you a little extra. So for those with sent in questions, thank you, and uh, keep uh, watching. Leave your comments. Let me know how I'm doing. Other than that, 